and welcome back to Mac Tips and Tricks. Today, let's look at system maintenance. System maintenance on Mac OS X is pretty simple and usually unnecessary. It may even be a bit controversial. It won't damage your system or cause any problems, but some people claim that some of these steps are completely unnecessary and that you never need to do them. Others believe that you should do them regularly. In my experience, I found that it's helpful to do them and since it can't hurt, why not? Alright, let's get started. First, go up to Spotlight and type Disk Utility. Hit Enter. If you've never used Disk Utility, it can look a little bit scary. Disk Utility shows you your hard drives, these things right here, I have three, and then the partitions on each hard drive. A partition is a portion of a hard drive. Some hard drives have only one partition, such as this one right here. This is my Mac OS X hard drive and my Mac OS X partition. When you click on a Mac OS X partition or hard drive, you'll see verify disk permissions and repair disk permissions. Disk permissions are simply flags on a file that tell the system and the different users what can and cannot be done with it. Certain permissions allow certain things to happen and certain permissions don't allow certain things to happen. So if your permissions are messed up, it's a good idea to correct them. If you click on, say, for example, a Windows partition, there is no Verify Disk Permissions or Repair Disk Permissions option. That's because Windows doesn't use Mac OS X disk permissions. The Verify Disk Permissions is usually unnecessary. If you click Repair, it will verify and then repair if necessary. It's usually best to simply click Repair Disk Permissions. Do that now. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Now that I've clicked it, it will take quite a while. It seems to read the permissions database for a long time and then it'll start correcting any problems. You may find that there are no problems. That's quite fine. If some problems do pop up, don't worry about it. Chances are it won't affect your system and it won't cause you any problems. The other option is verify disk. I'm going to stop my permissions repair because I don't need to do it now. Normally you want to wait for that to finish on its own. If you click Verify Disk, it'll check your hard drive to make sure it's in working order and that the directory structure is okay. If you click Verify Disk, it will freeze your system at one point for a couple seconds, so I'm not going to do that because I'm doing a, screen a screencast, but you do want to hit Verify Disk. When you're done in there, exit. Then go up to Spotlight again, type Terminal, and launch the Terminal application. I have it open down here you want to type sudo sudo periodic daily weekly and monthly when you hit enter it will ask for your password I'm going to go ahead and close that out because I've already got one running I type my password and then when it finished it simply shows me another prompt it will not tell you it's finished it won't show you any results it doesn't say anything to you it just finishes and shows you this prompt right here. Fox is my username. It will show your username and your terminal will probably look white with black text. When you finish that, you can go ahead and close out terminal or hit command Q to close it. And then you do your last step which is probably the most noticeable system maintenance routine on Mac OS X. Reboot your computer. Go ahead and reset or go up to Apple and restart and as your computer begins to load up hold the shift key shift tells your computer to boot into safe mode now some of you windows users may be familiar with safe mode safe mode on the mac is a bit similar when you boot into safe mode you don't have access to all of your hardware so you don't want to run mac os 10 and play games or anything like that while in safe mode simply hold shift wait for the apple logo to appear release the shift and then you're booting into safe mode when you fully boot up I like to log on to my normal user so I log in put in my password and you should log into your desktop you'll see your desktop just like this then go ahead and restart again but this time don't hold shift you'll boot back up you won't be in safe mode you'll have access to all of your hardware your programs will run fine and you should notice that everything's a little bit snappier Alright, that's it for system maintenance. Thanks, we'll see you next time.